What's up, everybody? It's your man, Steve Parker. You know what we're doing. We're down here at the Stella Awards 2018. It's the 33rd annual. There are all kind of events going on here. And you know I'm on the loose. I have a young man. He is in radio. He's doing it real big on the Erica Campbell a Morning Show. Right, what city is that? It's, uh, we on in about 47, 49 cities around the country. So uh, go to getuperica.com. My name is Griff. It's Griff. It's my man Griff. He didn't let me finish. I was just asking him. I was Where? helping him. <laughs> Listen, we both broadcasters, right, so, so we always want to help. We want to help, and then we want to make sure you don't look like an idiot right. at the same time. But sometimes people be idiots, and you can't say it. You can't say it. <laughs> Some of them can't say it, man. But we down here. We at the Hollywood uh, uh, Confidential, man. We're talking about a few things, the industry. One of the things that I'm really interested in, and get your opinion, man, the Snoop album is hot. It's ignorant. It's ignorant, but so many people have so many different opinions about should Snoop, should not Snoop. I didn't man, think about that. You know what I know is one of the main commandments is just love your neighbor. That's it. And don't judge nobody. That's like, it. If y'all worrying about who gay, then you worrying about who black, and right. who divorced, right. and who uh, was on welfare, and who right. was on like white. We just can't. That's why it's called the Bible of love. It don't mean. It's nothing but all I hear when I hear Snoop album is a worship album. Yeah, like man. For reals. Like you gotta, yeah. you gotta be comfortable with your relationship with God. It ain't right. for you to be caring what Snoop and in the game. Right. His album came out in November of '93. Right. Like if y'all don't, <laughs> he's still relevant, and he just finished a, a gospel CD. Like yeah, worry man. about yourself. What are you doing? Absolutely. How you? moving the kingdom who you told except Absolutely. your sister and your auntie so i don't judge no, i'm a it took me a long time to, to tell them churches in their face that i'm not a christian comedian i'm a comedian who love christ come on man. if i tell them i'm a christian comedian and that make mess up my judaism money my Buddhism right. money my catholicism <laughs> definitely my atheist right right so god don't want you to be in a box you be in a box but i'm not wow. gonna be in a box so i, I love how Snoop ain't in a box. I love it, man. And you just addressed my other question about what the church now needs to do, man. I saw a video, Griff, a uh, young lady, she was up, I think it was New Year's Eve, and she talked about her, her exploits on the street. You know, she got a first thing she said was, I need y'all to pray for me. And she starts talking about the things she did on the street, like, right. you know, doing uh, prostitution, prostitution and stuff. And I know, I saw stuff. the same and they, thing. They cut her off and sat her down. And it just made me wonder, Griff, is the church really in a position to help people who come from those illicit type lifestyles? If you ask me what's wrong with me, I'm going to tell you. Who are you to say, I ain't want to hear all that? Right. You know what I'm saying? If you had, if we supposed to be helping, if they did that lady like that, how you think a homeless person feel? Right. Who I believe a homeless person come to my church, New Mercy's Christian Church, with a pastor New Jesse Kearney the third. Yeah. I believe he will get a new outfit, hella suits. We got people that work at apartments. He will be placed yes, somewhere and wow. never be. You understand? It happened that fast, but I you got to take that faith. If you don't. Walking to it, well, what if they love me? Well, what if God keep telling you find a church? I tell homeless people all the time, how long you been out here in the streets? They say, uh, 17, 18 years. I say, give God a year. Now. Give him a year. Yeah. I'm saying, give him five minutes. Right. Tell him out loud, you can have a year, your Lord, and start running in the street. Yes, sir. And watch how your life will change. Wow. But if you don't believe like that, don't be all shocked and amazed when you get partial blessings. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you keep getting partial blessings because you don't even know how to ask for it. Wow. I want it all, Lord. All I want it. everything all you said it. I can have. I want my face on that right there. Yes, I want sir. my face over there. Yes, I want sir. my mama flying in. <laughs> right. Tonight, she going to be on a red carpet yes, like I told sir. you when I was a little kid. Yes, I want sir. it all. And there's no God. time limit on it. I love That's it. the problem with people. You, God don't even deal with time. Yes, sir. So what time to you is... If they say a second is a million to billion, yes, sir. you don't care about your 30 minutes of being mad. Right. But what my blessing is and what my gift is, is God bless me with timing. Yes, sir. So I understand that everything take a minute. Yeah. It don't hurt my feelings. Come on, man. The seeds you put in a human being turn into a seed maybe 10, 12 years later when that person owns a hotel. And they go, man, you yes, let sir. me stay with you that one time. 
It made me watch John C. Maxwell. Right, right. You know what I'm saying, dog? You and your family can wow. stay in the penthouse as long as you want, but you don't do it for that. Wow. You do right. it because you're supposed to do it. Right. You do it because wow. you're supposed to help. If you walk around with gratitude and you're gracious and you're thankful, of course somebody gonna say you got a good spirit. Wow. Of course somebody gonna say, can I buy you a lunch? I love you. What you be doing to get like that? Right. I love Jesus yes, Christ. Sir. Yes, like, sir. that's it. Man. I don't know what your religion is, and God bless you, and assalamu alaikum. Right. But uh, <laughs> me and my house, we serve the Lord. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so it's not personal, and it should never be personal. Wow. I should never not be able to have a conversation or a bite to eat with a Muslim because you Muslim. Right. I'm sitting down with a brother in Christ. In my in my world, everybody, all them is brothers, hand down there. Them is all brothers yes, and sir. sisters in Christ, yes, especially sir. the lady in the wheelchair, the right. orange one. Right. You go down there and say, the Lord told me, give you $20. And Amen. she might say, I just asked for God for 1975 to see what he was going to say. say. You got to believe. I got crazy faith like yes, that. Sir. They say the faith of a mustard seed, but I got the faith of a planet. Wow. Now what can I move? You know what I'm saying? I, I just believe it. like that. I I'm from it. nothing, but I am something. Come on. And that's all that matters. And if you keep caring about the, what you wasn't and what you never had, yes, then why should we give you more? Wow. If all you know is welfare and you ghetto as hell and you don't know how to change, then how you gonna expect more? I wake up with great expectations. On, I, I, I expect the Lord to blow my mind. Yes, sir. You understand yes, me? I don't want it. no regular blow my mind. I want to fall off this thing. It happened to be a net right there that let me down and I stood on my regular feet and I ain't get a hair on my head touched. <laughs> That's how I much I it. believe. I love it. I'm sorry. Is that, that, too much? Is that too much? Can we go right here? Was that a lot? Should we end it? That's why, man, Griff, man, you ministered to me, man. Thank Some you, of the man. things you said, man, was for me. Thank you, man. I'm telling you, I was driving the other day, and I was saying, I want to be up there. You know, yeah. but then I'm wondering, too, at the same time, God, when it's going to happen? I'm out here grinding, hustling hard, yeah. you know, and just keep doing what you're doing, stay in your place. And everything, time and chance, it's in God's hands. The, the best part about it is... He know you hustling and grind. Yes, sir. He just making sure you get to a place where you don't have to do that no more because you know. It. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. gotta be able to go to a place and come. You doing? You walking in it right now? That's the problem. People don't see you want it so bad, but you here. Yes, you in it. You right. We right there. We right there. At it. We <laughs> looking at it. We can go jump on a mic somewhere. Like yes, that. Don't, everybody can't. While everybody trying to be famous, why don't you just work on being Christian first? There you go. Wow. You know what I'm saying? All the wow. famous and money and everything that? come on when How you about that? love and trust the Lord and stop listening to idiots. I love it, man. And who's an idiot? I'm an idiot. He an idiot. Yeah, absolutely. It don't matter how smart you are. We are dumb lambs to him. Yes, sir. You ever seen a smart lamb? Right. Who knows? I'm a dumb one for right. Jesus. Yes, I'm going to do whatever he say. I come over that. here, you little dumb lamb. Here I come. <laughs> I said, Will. Yes. Get some grass. Okay. Dumb lamb stop. That's my man, Griff. He's on the air. I love it, man. Griff is doing his thing. Erica Campbell, tell them where they can hear you all the time, Griff. Get up, Erica.com. Download our app, Get Up Mornings. I'm at two trillion on everything. Two Number trillion. Two word, trillion. Uh, I love Jesus Christ. That's yes, what sir. I really That's know. what you do, man. I love you so much. My man Griff, you guys follow him, support him, everything he's doing. We'll see you guys in the ministry, man. Steve Parker. I love you, man. Blessed and arguably funny. <laughs> That's arguable. <laughs> That's, man, I appreciate you, man. Let me get a